Howdy everyone, it's Montana Air Gunner here again and on this video we're gonna have a look for the Huma Air Mod 40 5 moderator, so stay tuned. Have you been thinking about buying a Huma Air Mod 40 5 moderator? Stay tuned because then you'll know what's cooking up. So Huma Air manufacturer is from Netherlands and uh, they manufacture different kind of regulators, moderators and all sorts of other uh, accessories for the air gunning industry and this particular modular moderator is priced at 165 euros so let's actually dive into deeper how it can fare up with decibel readings and accuracy so let's head to the range okay so let's start with the baseline uh, decibel readings and then after that we're gonna go to the Huma Air Mod 40 slash 5. So yeah, let's start to shoot it. And I had a new toy with me. Hopefully the battery doesn't die with me on this one. So I had to bring an extra battery. And uh, yeah, let's get this, start shooting with it. So. I'm using the FX 18.1 grain pellets for the uh, test and compared to the other review now I have a Walther Author 30 inch barrel which is tuned to shoot the 18 grain pellets at 880 around and uh, yeah let's get on with it okay so first I'm gonna shoot the uh, baseline and after that we can continue with the moderators so five shots and i'm gonna have the same point of aim so then we can see the poi shift with every moderator So there we have it. We have the baseline now shot. So let's start with the... Okay, so next on the menu we got Huma Air Mod 40 and 5 Moderator. So I'll just pick a new target and uh, let's continue to 5, sh five shot group and uh, see where it's going. So I'm having the same point of impact the uh, aim and uh, that should be a good benchmark Wow, there you have it, Huma Air Mod 40 and a 5. I just saw from the scope cam that it was absolutely drilling them into the almost the same hole at a 50 yard range. Okay, so next on the menu. 
Okay, so now we did a little bit of test group shooting, test group shooting. And we can go into further detail with the uh, Juma Air Mod 40 and 5 moderator. I have to say this was the quietest just by with the ear rapport. It was the quietest moderator that I had on this sub $200 category. I was very positively surprised. And I actually tested it at my uh, garage or enclosed space out of uh, out in the open not my garage <laughs> but let's just say that it did really well there so we have the control group that i shot here and uh did pretty well you know the sound coming coming out of the barrel without a moderator it's kind of like a nail gun it's quite loud still even with the longer barrel and I tuned it to a lower degree so it only shoots 880 feet per second for 18 grainers so here we can see the uh, Hugh Myers uh, shot group it did fairly nicely I would say a lot better what the control group and we can put it on a caliper and then have a you know more in detail information for all of you sub MOAers there but as you can see the point of impact shift is quite significant compared to the control group and that's just due to the heavy moderator that is the weight on it and uh, I already kind of knew that coming into it the weather wasn't the best for doing this kind of a kind of a accuracy testing it's like gusting and you know it's a lot of wind not meant for really pellets but as you saw on the material it is very accurate now and even without the moderator this uh, custom barrel that I have the Wolf Lothar 30 inch custom barrel it's a polygonal uh, unchoked barrel and it does marvelously with the pellets so here you can see it all of in its glory I got the humor air there and uh, we are ready to go back to the office to do a final review And now we're back from the range. We got some pretty interesting readings done on the range and also a bit more further information concerning the accuracy. So we shot the control group five shots with an average reading of 78.32 looking from my spreadsheet and the peak value was 78.7. And when we screwed on this moderator on, we found that it had a significant reduction on the sound rapport and we had around 73.4 average decibel reading with 5 shots and the peak was 74 decibels. So 73.4 and 74. And I have to say that I was very positively impressed with the rapport that this gave out. So it was sort of like a bump, the sound that came off from it. And what I think that it's something to do with the, all the expansion, first expansion chambers and then the consecutive expansion chambers uh, having felt and just the right size. So it does a pretty, pretty good job with everything. And uh, as you can see, you can twist off all the parts that are tied in together very tightly and very neatly. And uh, this is actually one of my best moderators because you can tune up your gun with this one. So with the air gun barrel, you have to find a little bit of a 
sweet spot with the weight so at least back in the day the only way you could do that was with different size moderators and I think this is the best one on the market because you can actually add pieces to it so you can buy a spare parts different sized parts to the moderator that you can just screw on and as you can see from here and I'll take a closer pictures about this that you can actually change the length with a 20 millimeter part or then add length with a 40 millimeter or then just extend it or do basically whatever you desire with this spe specific modular moderator and what I can tell from the accuracy that looking from the control group we have on this side we shot around 0.68 inches of a group and I think it was a pretty good moment for me because I was excited about how accurately I shot and that equates into 1.3 MOA and when we shot the five shot group with the moderator on we got 0.8 inches and that equates to 1.56 MOA so it was a little over 0.8 inches but I have to say that if I would have calmed down just a little bit I would have gotten at least the same accuracy or better so on the video you could see from the Eagle Vision scope cam footage that I was in a shooting it with a fast pace I had determination to hit the target but not necessarily that accurate and as you can always say the weather might have affected it also but in this case I think it just was me rushing the shoot shooting but we still got a fairly good result and I have to say that if you're really going into the nitty-gritty you can have different parts to this one and if you have let's say a FX barrel tuner or something else you might get extremely good results with this one and what comes to the manufacturing uh, proficiency let's just put it that way this is actually very nicely done everything fits together really well the machining is done very nicely it's maybe not that shiny and blingy blingy as some other moderators are but this gets the job done definitely and what I can say that I'm not that gentle with my equipment so I actually dropped this a few times to the ground on top of rocks I banged it around a little bit on the on the car and you know I'm then not that gentle with my equipment so no scratches I didn't lose any coating or anything like that so this is a winner I, I would say that this the coating on this is done very nicely it can withstand a lot of uh, strenuous use and uh, every other way it's just uh, it's top-notch it's very nicely done and yeah, I think that pretty much wraps it up for this review. I hope you've gotten some good information about it. I know this wasn't that, you know, long lasting of a test. I shot around a thousand rounds through it, worked great, no problems. Maybe in the future I will revisit this one with a higher powered platform, but that's in the future. If you've liked my previous videos, you can check out my best sub $200 uh, category video and also the best sub $100 category video. I hope you find those helpful. And uh, if you haven't some, have gotten some good information with these videos, please think about subscribing, you know, hitting the notification bell 
and leaving a comment. It really does help out. And as always, thanks for your time. I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and staying healthy under these circumstances. And see you on the next one.